This is a short documentary salvaged from film depicting some treasured highlights of Niall Clark Kinnick Jr., Iowa's immortal All-American, who received almost every conceivable award available to an athlete. Ensign Kinnick was killed June 2, 1943, on a training flight when his plane crashed in the Caribbean Sea. Niall Kinnick's short career as athlete, gentleman, and scholar was jammed with exploits that ordinary men never achieve. Athletically, he was a triple threat performer. He was an exceptional passer, punter, runner, and one of the last good drop kickers. He played 402 of a possible 420 minutes in major games of 39 as a member of Iowa's famed Ironmen. His exploits in last quarter victories had veteran sports writers quiver fingered as they fumbled at the typewriter for adequate words. This team lost only once to champion Michigan, and a tie kept them from sharing the Big Ten title. In eight games of 1939, he participated in 197 plays, 104 rushing and 93 passing, accounting for gains totaling just short of 1,000 yards. 11 of his passes went for touchdowns. He dropped kicked 11 points after touchdown, scored 41 points personally, and was instrumental in making 107 of Iowa's 130 points. As a sophomore, he was named all Big Ten quarterback. He was injured in 1938, but still had an outstanding record as punter and passer. Then the awards really tumbled around Kinnick in 1939. He was awarded the Heisman Trophy as America's outstanding football player, the Maxwell Trophy, and the Walter Camp Award. He was the Big Ten's most valuable player and was voted the Captain's Cup as captain of all the great players from 1938 through 1942. Scholastically, he was named member of the Order of Artists, an honorary commerce fraternity, and attained a scholar's goal of Phi Beta Kappa. After his tragic death, the student body voted to name the Iowa Stadium the Niall Kinnick Stadium, but his parents asked that it remain as it was when Niall was a student and athlete on the campus. Perhaps the greatest victory of the famed Ironman of Iowa in 1939 was the sensational come-from-behind win over the Golden Gophers of Minnesota 13-9 on a Kinnick pass to Bill Green. The student body carried the hysteria over from Saturday to Monday, and on the steps of Old Capitol exhibited their feelings for this great team by holding one of the greatest pep rallies in the history of the old gold and black. Practically everyone attended, and they cheered and shouted, as first the president, then the coaches and the players took the stand. Captain Pressey and Niall Kinnick were among them, and they loved it. A short time later, this young man was among the many young men who gave their lives in World War II. As one person expressed it so very well, quoting, but a few months ago, he walked the campus of Iowa in the vigor of perfect youth. His feet were swift, his hands strong and sure, his eyes clear and far-sighted, his mind quick like the running of lightning from cloud to earth. There was indication at this time that this team was something special, and among them was an athlete scholar who had the thinking and determination of someone far beyond his years. The awards at that time must have been heartwarming to the Hawks, who so gallantly, with so few, had made their mark in 1939. More accolades and triumphs were soon to follow this smashing win over Minnesota. The 7-6 win over Notre Dame goes down in history as one of our most dramatic with Niall Kinnick's touchdown and extra point drop kick providing the winning margin. Probably Niall wouldn't like the idea of becoming a football legend at Iowa. He was proud of his achievements, certainly. But he didn't think they constituted anything that any other young man willing to work in the development of his ability could not attain. Surely Niall Kinnick won't mind if Iowans who loved him for what he was and for the gallant life for which he stood never forget him and make him a brilliant legend about which the fathers of the future can tell their sons. That Niall Kinnick scholarship winners can always strive for. The culmination of all the glory that had come to his teammates, his coach and Niall Kinnick, 
was reached in December of 1939 when his coach accompanied him to New York. Here he was to receive the Heisman Memorial Trophy Award as the outstanding college football player in the United States for 1939, chosen by the sports writers and sports broadcasters of America. This is college football's greatest individual award. Kinnick's ideals were lofty. When in training for the Navy, he wrote a friend, let us hope that you and I, and many, many other like us, will be enabled someday, somewhere, somehow, to contribute in some small way to the peace and progress of the world. There is nothing wrong with dreams, provided foundations are put under them. This from Iowa's Niall Kinnick, who is that rather rare combination of scholar and athlete. This event stands as one of the great tributes to the state of Iowa and to the individual coaches and teammates who made it possible. In this event, attended by many of America's leading citizens and outstanding football players of the country, Iowa's Niall Kinnick was a shining standout. In the two fall seasons following his gridiron triumphs, Kinnick was an assistant on the State University of Iowa football staff and a distinguished member of our law school. This was halted when he received his call to duty. It was in this speech at the Heisman Award dinner that Kinnick replied to his presentation of the trophy. Thank you very, very kindly, Mr. Hope. It seems to me that everyone is letting their superlatives run away with them this evening. But nonetheless, I want you to know that I'm mighty, mighty happy to accept this trophy this evening. Every football player in these United States dreams about winning that trophy and of this fine trip to New York. Every player considers that trophy the act made in recognition of this kind. And the fact that I am actually receiving this trophy tonight almost overwhelmed. And I know that all those boys who have gone before me must have felt somewhat the same way. From my own personal viewpoint, I consider my winning this award as indirectly a great tribute to the new coaching staff at the University of Iowa, headed by Dr. Eddie Anderson. And to my teammates sitting back in Iowa City. A finer man and a better coach never hit these United States. And a finer bunch of boys and a more courageous bunch of boys never graced the gridirons of the Midwest than that Iowa team in 1939. I wish that they might all be with, here, with me tonight to receive this trophy. They certainly deserve it. I want to take this grand opportunity to thank collectively all the sports writers and all the sportscasters and all I've seen their way clear to cast a ballot in my favor for this trophy. And I also want to take this opportunity to thank Mr. Prince and his committee, the Heisman Award Committee, and all those connected with the Downtown Athletic Club for this trophy and for the fine time that they're showing me. And not only for that, but for making this fine and worthy tr trophy available to the football players of this country. Finally, if you will permit me, I'd like to make a comment which in my mind is indicative perhaps of the greater significance of football and sports emphasis in general in this country. And that is, I thank God I was warring on the gridirons of the Midwest and not on the battlefields of Europe. I can... I can speak confidently and positively that the players of this country would much more, much rather, struggle and fight to win the Heisman Award than the Quad de Guerre. Thank you. Back to his teammates. He never really thought the team would lose, no matter what the score, and his poise and smartness pulled the big ones out of the fire. Perhaps there have been better football players at Iowa than this fabulous young man, better individuals at different phases of the game. Who knows for sure? Kinnick has a place alone in the annals of Iowa athletics. He will never be replaced. Niall Kinnick will always be a measuring stick to Iowans. Iowans want to help develop other young men in the Kinnick mold, young men who show promise of similar abilities. 
the highest tribute that could be paid to an Iowa athlete would be, he's another Niall Kinnick.